Hi all, this is Navin here from Globetech. Today we are solving, solving this uh, Lenovo G530 laptop which is uh, not powering on. Let's fix it. Come here. This is Lenovo G530 model which is not powering on what I will do is I'm just using my power supply I am giving 18.5 voltage to this motherboard you can see in DC power supply it is taking 0.04 amps I am trying to switch on this but it is not powering on This is the problem, it's in dead condition. Let's check it. So, I have disconnected my DC power supply now, and I'll remove the switch. <coughs> First go with the VIN section or else first we will check the impedance of the coil you can see this is the coil the coil impedance is looking good this is 3 volt 5 volt coil and it is also looking good this is a core section coil which is also a looking good no short found So all the coil impedance is looking good. We'll try to trace this. Try to solve this. First MOSFET is not short. Second MOSFET is not short. But you can see our current limiting resistor. Our first current limiting resistor is showing me short. We'll try to trace this with the help of schematic now. In this motherboard, the part number is LA4212P. I have a schematic of this. Four two one two three. Okay, I have a schematic of this laptop. is the first current limiting resistor PR152 I am going to search here see excuse <coughs> This is our first current limiting resistor. Our first MOSFET is not short, second MOSFET is not short, but our current limiting resistor is showing me short. That means B plus is short now. The whole B plus line is going to everywhere in the motherboard, every part of the motherboard. I'll show you. You can see every 19 voltage, every B positive line here in this motherboard. You can see here the B plus line is going everywhere in the motherboard, 
and it is showing every 90 voltage capacitor is short you can see this is the 90 voltage capacitor it is showing me short this is also you can see in the multimeter it is showing only 2 impedance, 0, 1 impedance that means this every capacitor is short with respect to ground but we don't know exactly which is the short capacitor which capacitor is exactly short with respect to ground we'll, for, we'll find it with the help of this machine okay what I'm going to do is now I'll just isolate this current limiting resistor I just removed this current limiting resistor isolated it and I am injecting voltage to the motherboard forcibly to find out where is the exact shot Now what I will do is, I will just inject this voltage with the help of this PC machine. I won't give full 19 voltage, I will I'll just make it zero now. See now it is zero voltage. I will what I did is, where the short is showing I just now I am injecting some voltage to the board which is forcibly with the help of my DC power supply and I am giving an voltage I will give only 1.5 to 2 voltage so my short component will start heating now this is my wireless thermometer See, the board temperature now room temperature it was showing around 26 to 28 degrees celsius here it was showing up to 31 back side see everywhere same room temperature here it's increasing 
यू कैन सी है थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस थर्टी सेवन इन सम कॉम्पोनेंट इज गेटिंग हीट हीटर यस दिस कैपेसिटर इज गेटिंग हीट लेट्स सकेट स्विच ऑफ में डीसी सप्लाई मम्मी दिस कैपेसिटर वॉज हीटिंग आई जस्ट रिमूव दिस कैपेसिटर You see this capacitor is short. Here, this capacitor is short. So, in board, you can see now the 19 voltage short is gone. There is no short in the board. It is showing the capacitor value now. no beep sound no shot so this was our problem this was our short capacitor which i removed it now we'll put a same value capacitor to this board This is that capacitor. This is this capacitor showing short, which is coming from B plus, whereas the B plus line was showing. Full B plus line was showing short with respect to ground. So we have removed this capacitor and will solder back that uh, current limiting resistor. Where is the current limiting resistor here? This is an exclusive Globe Tech technique. to find out the short component otherwise we will be doing the whole r&d in the board by removing every component and checking out the where the short is because if b plus to b plus is short then we have to check every component in the board So I soldered back my 
current limiting resistor and I will replace this capacitor and try to switch on it capacitor value is 10U uh, we found out in the dead boards remove dead board the capacitor I am going to test the display You can see it is taking an empty ampere and uh, we'll see whether the display will come or not. <coughs> yes, you can see the display here. The board is on and our case is successfully completed. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.